What is up, people? We just got our first look at the beginning of the combat changes for Ashes of Creation leading up to Alpha 2, and I gotta say, we are going very strong in the right direction. But before we get into all of that, just remember, this is all work in progress. The whole point of this is to showcase the basic weapon attacks and is meant to get your feedback. I know you YouTube commenters like to jump to conclusions a lot, but give it as feedback of what changes you wanna see because it's gonna progress even more as we go and as we get more into Alpha 2, and the more feedback that Intrepid gets, the better that it will be in the end. Also, be sure to subscribe, because we're going to keep talking about this, and we're going to keep talking about Ashes of Creation. The video starts out as Steven plays a male pirate elf in the Riverlands holding a two-handed sword. He is playing the Weapon Master class, which is a fighter-slash-fighter archetype combo, one of the 64 possible classes. Steven, like I said, is in the Riverlands, which we've seen before in the seasonal video, and goes to fight some cool-looking rock creatures now if you followed the game and you see the alpha one combat and now look at this we have come very 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 far with this two-handed sword we see some active blocking and you can actually see the weight of this sword the swing of the sword seems to slow the character a bit as he staggers after a big swing which it should because it's supposed to be heavy and his large overhand hit leaves impacts on the ground the standard weapon swing is an aoe that makes sense for action combat and will be very enjoyable going up against multiple enemies and although I can't play it it looks really great and I really wish I could play it right now because I could get a much better feel for it but like I said it appears we are going in the right direction for abilities we see a whirlwind ability which spins the weapon around and does some AOE attacks a giant hammer that slams the ground in front and a sprint like ability that moves the character quickly out of the way what we don't see is any of the hybrid system in play here that I can tell this looks full-on action combat which yes it's just the beginning of the combat update so the hybrid hybrid stuff could be coming later and could be tied more into the abilities, but I am under the assumption here, and I could be wrong, but I think basic weapon attacks are always going to be action combat oriented and not tab. This gives you all the mobility that you see here and the blocking and all of that, that just doesn't make sense with tab targeting. It would probably make it much more unbalanced if you could choose between the two. Whereas Alpha 1 seemed to be more heavily on the tab targeting, this seems to be going much more towards action. Moving on to the dual daggers that we see, these guys are fast but to me almost too fast the speed the dagger goes at almost makes the animation look a little weird to me but the daggers are supposed to be fast so i'm not completely opposed i'm not a fan of the dagger animation combo where on the third attack he pulls the daggers across and back up either it looks pretty silly in combat to me as every third attack you do that which i feel like could be more of a finishing the foe animation and it just seems off to me but i also think the daggers are less polished than the two-handed sword steven shows a lot more of the heavy weapon than the daggers, which could just be his preference and what he likes to play, but the sword itself to me looks more polished animation-wise. We also didn't see any new abilities with the daggers. The hammer and the whirlwind both still appear to work the same no matter which weapon you're holding, and honestly, again, this looks great, and I'm glad to see them moving in the right direction. We also see a bit of UI elements with the damage numbers and the XP, which can all be customized. You can change the color of the numbers, the size of the text, even allowing you to Hold the text if you want to, really giving players much more control of the UI. Looking at the visual effects though, I am not a fan of the trailing effects of the weapon. Intrepid has always been a little too heavy on the visual effects in my opinion, and although the whirlwind, sprint, and hammer seemed fine to me, the trailing effects of the sword seem a bit too much, and hopefully those get turned down a bit. I do love the ground impact effects though with the heavy weapon, breaking the ground as your sword lands, really allowing the weapon to feel more heavy with its weight. What I also liked that you might have missed is the blood effects when a player is attacked, but it could still use some work. At the rate the guy loses blood, his body would probably have been completely drained before killing the first enemy. What I didn't see any examples of is animation cancel. This again could just be because it's something they will show later and we're really just at the beginning of combat, but one of my least favorite things about New Worlds combat is that when you cast an ability, you are locked into it until the animation finishes, which sometimes you see with action combat. 
that. You couldn't even cancel it if you needed to change your plan last minute with a split decision. So hopefully this is something that Intrepid doesn't do and they stick with allowing animation cancel. Anyways, what are your guys' thoughts on the combat reveal for Ashes of Creation? Be sure to drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to do so using the referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come.